Well, hello out there. Welcome to Smithson Valley Middle School. I'm Mrs. Esparza. And I'm Mrs. Mrs. Ulbrich. And we're both counselors at Smithson Valley Middle School. I do last things that start with A through L. And I do the M through Z. And we're looking forward to seeing you here next year. We want to show you some footage of our campus here today so that you can become more familiar with the layout of our campus. So, get ready for a ride. Welcome to, this is our first stop. This is the sixth grade building behind us. This, way. this is the sixth grade building where most of your core classes will be. We do have a few that are in the main big building that you, that you saw in the very first video of the school, but this is where the majority of what are called core classes are. What are core classes? Core classes, that's a very good question. Core classes, there are four core classes. Uh, you have math. Math is considered a core class. Your English is considered a core class. Social studies is what you take in sixth grade. And then science. Those are your four core classes. And we have teachers, all the teachers in sixth grade. Most of them are in this building behind us. Okay, are any of the core classes in some of the other buildings? Uh, yes, we do have a few in the main building. We do have a couple of teachers that, that have their classes for sixth grade in the main building because there's not enough room. You know, you got this great building and there's classes and they kind of run out of room and we got a ton of kids that are awesome. And so they're spread out into the main building. So some of you may have to travel into the big building uh, for your English class or what else? History. History. History, our English class, is also in the main building for just a few of you, uh, the sixth graders. And we'll show you those in just a little while. Okay, so we're going to go into the sixth grade building? We're going to go into the sixth grade building, and we're going to show you what it looks like. We'll video it for you, show you what it looks like. Maybe. Welcome to the sixth grade building. This is where most of your core classes are located. You just saw Coach Brooks's room. Now Mrs. Murgles. And now Miss LeBons. And here is Miss Simmons room. Along with Mrs. Brown's room and Mr. Evers room. And here's Coach Hines' room. And Mrs. Wagner's. Miss Taylor's. And finally, Mr. Clark's. We're in the sixth grade building. And you probably just saw a video of the, all the sixth grade building. We had, remember the four core classes? Mm -hmm. English, math, science, and social studies. We just walked by a whole bunch of rooms. That's right. And can you guess what room we're in now? Just look behind us. Yes, fabulous science class. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite subjects. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. I. That's part of my degree is science, so I love science too. Oh good, good. Well, we'd like to talk to you about how important it is in middle school to use your agenda. And I'm sure that in elementary school you had an agenda and you kept it. This is what ours looks like here at the middle school level. And at the middle school level you're expected to write in your agenda every day. You see how this has lots of writing on it. Um, there's writing, there's a section for every class, core class and elective classes. And it's very important for you to write in here all your assignments, what you're supposed to do, what you did in class, because you see that word communication up on the wall? This is the way the school communicates with your parents about your expectations. So if you write your assignments down in your agenda and then you go home and you look at it and you do the work, You'll be successful as long as you turn it in. I have a question. How do we know what to write in our agenda? 
Well, every teacher has a board, and up on the board, the teacher writes what they're going to do that day. And so it's important for you to just copy it down. Just copy down what's up on the board, and if the teacher says there's a due date, you need to write what's due and when it's due on your agenda, because then you look ahead at your calendar and say, okay, Friday I'm going to go to the library, Thursday, oops, I've got a test, and today's Monday, I've got to study for that test all week. So that's why your agenda is so important. Do we get a grade for our agendas? In some classes you might. Mm -hmm. But easy grade, easy 100s, y'all. Exactly. Y Just got to write. <clears throat> and that's very important. But what's most important is that if you write in your agenda and you go home and you check in your agenda and you do the work and you turn it in, you will be successful. Okay? It's easy. It's easy, easy. <clears throat> and how long does it take a long time to write? Do you have to write like paragraphs in your agenda? How long does it take to write for every class? Uh, probably about 15 to 20 seconds. <gasps> Is that all? 15 to 20 seconds? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can probably do that. 15 to 20 seconds at the very beginning of every single class. You write down homework or test on Thursday. And then that's it. You close it and then you talk to your friends until the class starts. It's easy. 100. It's easy. easy. Knowledge. Easy. Communicate. Communicate. Exactly. That's Here's it. the other thing. If you're absent, you need to ask your teacher for the work that you missed. So when you come to middle school, the teacher doesn't say, oh, you were absent, here's your work. No, <laughs> that's elementary. Mm -hmm. In middle school, you say, Mrs. Albert, I was absent yesterday. Can I get my work from you? Yes, you can. When can I get my work from you? Um, um, do I need to come during the day, before school or after school? Come see me after your class today and I will hand you your assignment. Thank you very much for asking. Okay, good. I want to be responsible. Yes, very okay. good. So you want to ask the teacher for your missing work, whatever you missed while you were out. And some teachers will ask you to come at the end of class and some teachers will say, come see me in the morning. Okay? You just have to find out what each teacher requires of you. And guess okay. what? We have some very, very special guests that are just getting ready to say hello. Are awesome. you excited? I'm very excited. They're, they're incredible. In. Okay, here's our first guest. My name is Miss Terry and I teach math. Hi, I'm Miss LeBon and I teach sixth grade math and pre AP math. I'm Mrs. Mergle and I teach sixth grade math and sixth grade pre AP math. Hi, my name is Mrs. Brown. I teach sixth grade English language arts. I'm Lorraine Simmons. I teach ELA sixth grade. And I teach sixth grade and seventh grade ELA. I'm Mr. Evers, and I teach social studies. I'm Coach Brooks, and this is sixth grade social studies. All right, I'm Coach Hines, and I coach social studies in the sixth grade. Hi, I'm Coach Wagner. I teach science, sixth grade science, and I coach volleyball and basketball. Hi, I'm Mrs. Taylor, and I teach sixth grade science. Hi, uh, I am Mr. Clark, and I teach sixth grade science. In sixth grade, you have three choices of activities. Chess club, robotics, and Mustang mowers. There are three types of secondary electives. The gifted and talented program, tech apps, and youth leadership. With tech apps and youth leadership, you will switch over the second semester. Hi, I'm Mrs. Boldway. I'm the GT elective teacher at Smithson Valley Middle. I'll see you in class next year. This is Miss Smith. Hello. And Miss Smith, yes, Miss Smith teaches uh, a sixth grade class that is called Tech Apps, Tech Applications. It's that there are some sixth grade classes in the main building. In our main building, we have Coach William Darty. Yay! Hi. Coach William Darty. He teaches uh, sixth grade youth leadership. You have three choices of PE credits: dance team. PE and pre-athletics. Hi, my name is Coach Johnson. I'm the girls coordinator here at Smithson Valley Middle School. Um, I head up the girls athletic department, so I have first and seventh period athletics. I also am the uh, co-PE uh, coordinator here, and so I have sixth grade PE classes, the pre-athletics more specifically, and I also have one youth leadership class. Sixth grade gym with Coach Hambrick. He's one of the sixth grade PE teachers. Um, what do y'all do? What's PE? Tell them, tell me a little bit about sixth grade PE. Regular sixth grade PE, we just run through all your general units from basketball units to soccer to tennis to football to um, fitness, a little bit of everything as far as our regular PE. Do y'all lift weights? Um, in pre-athletics, we will start to lift weights, teach the kids the fundamentals of lifting. And from football to basketball, 
What about girls? Do girls have pre-athletics too? Yes, they will. Good. So they'll do like volleyball and stuff like that, fun stuff? Yes, they will. Volleyball, so, soccer units, softball, a little bit of everything. That's great. What about dressing out? Do you know anything about, I mean, if we're in regular PE, do we have to dress out? Regular PE will not dress out, but pre-athletics will dress out. I'm Mrs. Howell, and I teach the dance classes. Here at SBMS, you have five choices of electives, band, choir, theater, orchestra, and art. My name is Gwen Graham. I am the choir director at SVMS. I'm Ms. Logan and I teach theater arts. My name is Mr. Dixon. I teach band. My name is Mr. Hargreaves. I teach band. Hello, I'm Ms. Kennedy. I teach 6th, 7th, and 8th grade art. Uh, behind here are actually some 6th grade projects we've just worked on and these are some 6th grade little prints of their self-portraits of their faces. So looking forward to seeing you next year. Hi, my name is Stacy Gloka and I teach orchestra. We have multiple staff and custodians. Are you ready? Okay, I'm Rita Dupree and I'm the school nurse for Smithson Valley Middle School. Hi, welcome to Smithson Valley Middle School. We are your, your office staff. I'm Teresa Morgan and I'm in the front office as the receptionist. I'm Ruthie Traxler and I'm the bookkeeper. I'm Dorinda Bustamante and I'm the school secretary. I'm Marcia Hill and I'm the registrar. I'm Georgianne Hall, I'm the attendance clerk. Welcome to the cafeteria. Sixth graders will go to A lunch. There are two levels in the cafeteria. Downstairs, there is a pizza line, a salad bar, and a line that changes every day. Upstairs, there is a burger line. There is also an appetizer line. For example, you can buy egg rolls. This is our school library. It's a quiet place where you can study and check out a wide variety of books. You can come here before school and during lunch. The first time you go to the library with your ELA teacher, the librarian will tell you how to get the library pass. Most, if not all, the clubs will be held in the library. You can find out about when they meet by listening to the morning announcements second period. Hi, I'm Mrs. Patterson. I am going to be your mighty Mustang librarian. Sixth grade, you must know the value of taking notes. When I was in sixth grade, I wish I would have known how big the campus actually is because it's a big jump from elementary to middle school. So this is like pretty much like a mansion. And the advice I would give to you is not to be intimidated by seventh and eighth graders because they can be very good. I'm an eighth grader in being in sixth grade is amazing because of all of the wonderful teachers that taught me and put me on the right course. Uh, at SVMS, we have two assistant principals and one principal. Uh, my name is Mr. Douglas, and I'm one of the assistant principals here at Smithson Valley Middle School. We are introducing you to Mr. Evans. He is our assistant principal, and he just wanted to say, hey. Hey, what's up? We don't expect much of you, just your best every single day here at Smithson Valley Middle School. Enjoy. Uh, last but not least, we're here with our middle school principal, Mr. Michael Carradine. Hey, I understand that we're looking forward to having these fifth graders come in to be sixth graders. No matter where you're coming from, you're soon to be Mustang. So you're going to have many opportunities to develop into that Mustang tradition. 
will prepare you for high school, and I think you're going to have great opportunities at this school to do well. So